Extraordinary life of the termite queen, a reign of sacrifice and productivity. The termite queen is one of nature's most fascinating and extreme examples of reproductive specialization. Her life is a remarkable journey from a winged alate to an immobile egg-laying machine, sustaining a vast and complex society. Below, we explore the unique biology, behavior, and ecological impact of the termite queen, drawing from scientific insights and observations. 1. The transformation from alate to immobile monarch the termite queen begins her life as an alate, a winged reproductive termite that swarms during the nuptial flight. These flights are synchronized across colonies to maximize genetic diversity and survival. 12. Once she mates with a king, she sheds her wings, and the pair burrow into the ground to establish a new colony. 10. Her body undergoes extreme physogastry, a dramatic expansion of her abdomen to accommodate her growing ovaries. Some species, like Macroterms natalensis, see queens grow up to six inches long, while others, like drywood termites, exhibit only minimal enlargement. 3. Her head and legs remain small, rendering her immobile and entirely dependent on workers for survival. 2.2. The egg-laying machine, unmatched fertility queen's primary role is reproduction, and she excels at it. At her peak, she can lay an egg every three seconds, totaling thousands per day and hundreds of millions in her lifetime. 10. Unlike ants, termite queens require constant mating with the king, who remains by her side for decades. 12. Her egg-laying rate is not static. Early colony phase, she lays fewer eggs, focusing on producing workers to build the nest. Mature colony phase, egg production surges, supported by secondary queens in satellite nests. 1. Seasonal variations. In temperate regions, she pauses reproduction in winter, while tropical queens lay year-round. 1.3. The Royal Chamber. A fortress of Pheromonas the queen resides in a royal chamber, a thick-walled cell at the colony's heart. Workers constantly tend to her, feeding her, cleaning her, and distributing her eggs to nursery chambers. 3. She exerts control through pheromones, reproductive suppression. Her secretions prevent other females from developing into queens. Only when the colony grows large or she weakens do secondary reproductives emerge. 1. Colony coordination. These chemical signals regulate caste development, ensuring a balance of workers, soldiers, and future reproductives. 7. 4. Defying aging. The queen's biological secret termite queens exhibit unprecedented longevity, living 10 to 50 years, far outlasting workers 1 to year 7. Recent research reveals how they avoid aging, mitochondrial efficiency, their cells maintain high energy production without oxidative damage. 4. Insulin upregulation. Unlike in mammals, increased insulin activity in queens doesn't lead to fat accumulation but supports egg production for DNA repair mechanisms. Their cells continuously fix genetic errors, prolonging fertility for 0.5. The ultimate sacrifice, a life in servitude contrary to the queen title, she is less a ruler and more a captive ovary. Her bloated body traps her in the royal chamber, where workers feed and clean her until death. 10. Some accounts suggest that when she dies, workers consume her remains, recycling nutrients back into the colony. 10. Her death triggers a shift. If secondary queens exist, they take over. If not, nymphs may develop into new reproductives, ensuring colony survival. 7. Conclusion A Legacy of Survival The termite queen's life is a paradox both privileged and pitiable. She is the cornerstone of a superorganism, her existence dedicated solely to perpetuating the colony. Her biological adaptations challenge our understanding of aging, fertility, and social insect hierarchies. While humans may see her as grotesque, she is a marvel of evolution, a testament to nature's ingenuity in sustaining life beneath our feet. For further reading, explore the studies on termite longevity 4 or the dramatic nuptial flights that begin her reign.